Yeah, so um, I was sitting at the table where we have our tent, and um, all I know is I turn around and I see a fire truck. So I'm thinking, okay, they probably going to Amazon. Fire truck always goes to Amazon, but then it stops like right in front of the tent. So I'm like, okay, what, <laughs> what is this about? So then I look, I'm like, oh shit, is the fucking generator on fire? Like, is something wrong with the generator? So I look, the generator's cool. So then the, you know, the fire guy, he hops out the, the truck and he's on the phone. He's like, look, man, they called me. They made a complaint. They said that the, um, the generator is a safety hazard and you don't have a permit for it. And he's like, look, I don't care. Look, I'm union. You know, I know this is really about, you know, I see the fence. I see what's going on here. So I'm going to just make sure that you're able to have this generator. So then five minutes later, he um, he walks over to me. He's like, look, man, this is bullshit. This is a waste of time. You can have the generator. I'm leaving. It worked. And that was that. And also, he showed me the complaint. And, you know, I got it. I took it, a picture of that shit. Yeah, I know. It's already going it's already doing numbers on Twitter. So to touch on that real quick, the, the, the complaint is anonymous. The call was anonymous. Of course. But we got the building number and the business number that it came from, which, oh, ironically, is Amazon. <laughs> so, so for them to even do this, like wasting tax dollars, wasting the fire department's time, because let me tell you, they've been to the building how many times? last week like twice already right mm -hmm. yeah and i know from working there especially that building how many times they get called throughout the year to that building when it's just like a false alarm or a faulty wire or you no know, the, the the fire alarm goes off by accident they come to that building all the time for bullshit this just added more to that and that's another reason why you know he's just you know, the fire, fireman obviously doesn't care about what we're doing. Not only the fireman, like you mentioned, he's union. The police officers that came out, they said, we're not getting involved with this. We don't care. Just move closer to the bus stop. We're good. Um, yeah, Amazon's just... Uh, well, that makes me happy that that was his response, the fireman's right. response. Right. I, yeah. want to get Tristan, I want Tristan to talk about um, the messaging, the texts and the TV real quick. What you got? Um, from seeing on the inside, being on the inside. It's crazy. Like, it's crazy to think because, like, I left for two weeks. So I was on a leave of absence. And I come back and I'm like, wow. Like, literally, the first two days I was there, I was barely in there for half a day. Like, I've only worked, like, the first two days, uh, Thursday and Friday that I came back. I was only there in, in the building for a combination of five hours. And the amount of union busting I saw <laughs> of the propaganda was just ridiculous. Like when it went to the bathroom, when it like went to the screens, like every time I passed any kind of news thing in in the building, boom, it's just right there. Like, don't give away your rights. Like when you sign a union card, you give away your right to speak. Like making it seem like the second you sign a union card, you're automatically gonna have to pay union dues. Like, oh yeah, send me money now. Like, no, that's not how it works at all. And send me money. Send me money now. <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. And I'm like, what do you guys think these like you think all these workers here are just children? They're just gonna see this and be like, oh wow, yeah, that must be true. Right. What about and the on the bottom, and then on the bottom of it, at each one it said, if you have any questions, please follow up with your manager or, or HR. And I'm like, if there were two people that I was gonna ask about union in Amazon, it would not be those two people at all. <laughs> Nah. Those would be the last two people I would talk to. Yeah, go talk to people who's making close to six figures. If not, if it's a manager above L5, they're making six figures. Go talk to them, sure. Tristan, they're definitely else? all for unions. They're not corporate at all. No, yeah, yeah all the way. They're going to give you the right answer. Uh, what, what was the latest text today? What was today's text? About it's funny because today's text was definitely about you. Like, because <laughs> it mentioned something specifically that you did. It said just because someone handing out a union card is wearing an Amazon vest does not mean they represent Amazon or does not mean they're even an employee of Amazon. <laughs> but then, but then, but then I love how they, then I love how they watch their back in the later state and like further down, you got to read a little bit smaller. But it says like, just, some of these people may be current 
associates, but they do not represent Amazon. I'm like, wait, but didn't you just say that just because they wear a vest, they're not Amazon associates? But then you like a little bit down, they say, but they might be. They might be. <laughs> yeah. like, we don't know, but they, they might be. It's possible. I thought, I thought that was hilarious. Like, honestly, I know it's terrible that they even did that, but it just, it was so desperate and underhanded that I couldn't help but laugh. No, we all are. We all laugh. And this today, the that's funny kind of thing, a, that's amazing. No, it's amazing. Yeah, it it, me, it, today was the <laughs> one day, the one day I forgot to wear my fucking vest. I didn't wear it today. I was, <laughs> I wasn't even wearing it today. I forgot to wear. It. I usually wear it every day, uh, every day since I started doing it. And I forgot to fucking grab it this morning. And I'm like, I don't even have a vest on today. Mm-hmm. I wasn't there for the fire shit, but I wasn't even there wearing a vest today. I don't. But I think they're just so they're so upset of what we're doing. And of course, they're watching our social media. They're going to watch this. You know. What I really like is that they actually name dropped us. They called us what we are, Amazon Labor Union. I think I feel like we made it. They finally called us by our name. Yeah. Great publicity. Say my name. <laughs> they said yeah. it. And, and lastly, before we wrap up, let's talk about this fucking guy they got in the building. Because I'm pissed about this dude. This guy that's walking around the building, going to people's station. Um, I'm going to talk to him directly because I don't like the fact that he's singling people out, talking about, you know, what about that guy over there unionizing? It ain't a guy. It's just not one of us. And if you're talking about me, it ain't just me. As you can see, um, there's workers that are organizing and you don't know shit about us. And if you really want to have a conversation with us, we are right across the street.